Listen to this reality of life. Your level of joy at Christmas is directly related to what it is you see. Did you hear that? Or should I repeat myself? Your level of joy this Christmas is directly related to what it is you are looking for. There are some of us, we want all our family members to be with us at this Christmas. Some will want to give a superb present. And some of us, there is a particular present we've been waiting for since the beginning of the year. Do you know what? All these expectations have one common problem. They can leave you disappointed. Oh yes. They can leave you disappointed. But I pray that the Lord will pull you through. Have you ever had the experience of disappointment at Christmas? Because it did not deliver what you thought it would. I'm sure some of us have. But the problem is not Christmas. It is in our expectations. We are looking for the wrong thing. There are some who are having now. They are planning now how they will have money to celebrate Christmas. They will not work. They will burn. We lay people the road. I'm robbing because they want to celebrate God's greatest free gift. You go and will it people and you kill them. And you want to celebrate Christmas. There are some who will cheat because they need extra money to celebrate Christmas. And there are others who will tell lies because they want to celebrate Christmas. The Magi show us how to increase our level of joy at Christmas by looking for the right thing. They saw the star. And they started following the star. Now they use their own intuitive knowledge. And so well, if a prince is going to be born, how can, how can a prince be born in my house? I'm not a chief. If you are told a prince is going to be born in a daughter, you're going to come in this place. If my mother, she uh omoya ibi ni won be, she won be ni be uh a fe or back. Because princes are usually born in palaces. And so the Magi, they use their ordinary knowledge and they went to Jerusalem. You know the end of the uh, the, the, the end of the story. Herod said, Oh, there is another king. Kill all of them. Because these white men were looking at the wrong place. They were looking for the wrong place. But their going to Jerusalem was not all that bad. Because there they heard the scribes. The scribes read to them that this promised king will be born in Bethlehem. And so they came out, they saw the star, followed the star, and then they stopped where Jesus Christ was living, and they found the baby. Friends, they were looking for Jesus. Christmas for them was an opportunity to worship Jesus. And this is my first lesson. If you want to enjoy Christmas, that is what you need to be looking for an expected an experience of worship a fresh glimpse of the one born king of the jews until you worship him as the one born you cannot enjoy christmas worship secondly where do you look for what you want Your level of joy at Christmas is directly related to where you look. 
The psalmist says, I will lift up my eyes. Where? From where my help comes. The major started by looking in the wrong place. Finally, they found the right place. We too are tempted to look for joy in earthly things. And to the extent that some of us go to steal, some of us do horrible things in order to enjoy Christmas. Such gift is not from God and it cannot last. Secondly, what is it or where will you go and look for it? What do you look for? To get joy through drugs, to make her joy through alcohol, to get joy through messing your life around? No. Spend your time, search the scriptures, and you will find a renewal, a recommitment to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. When you find him, what are you planning to give this Christmas? The girl who sang in the bleak mid winter. She gave us an answer to my last question. What do you give? The Magi gave gold for kings, frankincense for priests, and myrrh for burial. They acknowledged that Jesus Christ was born to die so that we might live. They gave myrrh gift for the dead. Brothers and sisters, what is the appropriate gift for us all in Ogun State, for us all in Nigeria to give this Christmas time? We ought to give the gift of our love and kindness. Where I live, I've discovered that in the Western world, Christmas season is a time to demonstrate love and kindness. Not only to family, not only to friends, but to our neighbors. And so we ought to give the gift of our help to those who are hurting. Your Excellency, though we thank you for alleviating, for making sure that those who have been owed for such a long time, you release the money. Even though you were given specific instructions from Abuja because you studied your situation, you changed in order to alleviate the sufferings of your people. The Lord will bless you for that. Friends, in your neighborhood, there are many people who are hurting. So as you boil your rice and cook your turkey, remember, give food, give clothing, assist people who are hurting. Giving the kinds of gifts like this will result in a joyous and meaningful Christmas. So, I want to conclude by saying this. What will you be giving for this Christmas 2016? Have you considered, as my sister said, giving yourself? What Jesus wants is your heart. And that is your real being. Have you considered giving yourself, giving your heart to Jesus. That's what makes the difference. When you give your heart to Jesus, you will see Jesus in the other person. Even in your enemy, because it is only in the New Testament we have the command. In all the written scriptures, whether it is Old Testament or even in the Quran, it is a command. Love your enemy. But you cannot do it without giving your heart to Jesus. And that is the problem in Nigeria today. Even amongst us who call ourselves Christians, you just wonder 
What sort of follower of Jesus Christ is this?